Yeah, what's up, everybody? Um, yeah, y'all know it's the bye week. Um, he was got the bye week this week. Um, we had a couple games today that uh, a couple rival teams we had to cheer for to see if they would get the job done, but of course they didn't. So now we sitting here, we got to deal with these Cowboys fans. You know, boasting about how they got the division like we lost today when we didn't even play. But whatever. Top of the division is top of the division. Anyway, um, reason I'm posting this video is because uh, I want to give like a real, like I want to give like a real meaningful analysis to um, our future matchups and everything. And uh. I know a lot of people saying Dallas beat the Seahawks, but the Rams beat the Seahawks today. And like I always try to stress to people, the Rams in the same division as a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Rams is in the same division as the Seahawks. So the way I go about division games is they can always go either way, regardless how team, how, how well a team play or how much teams suck. So uh, the Rams beating the Seahawks today, it was kind of surprising but at the same time it don't really move me none because they in the same division and of course last year the Rams held Seattle to 14 points I think Seattle held them to 9 but that's just an example of my theory on how division games can go but anyway um judging by the games today Arizona's still on the roll of course they're our next opponent you know um we play them next Sunday um the Cowboys now, much as I hate the cities because I can't stand them, we might have our hands full with the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, I know a lot of they, they they played a bunch of corny teams just like us and everything, but the way those guys are playing, man, they, they got top-notch offensive line. DeMarco Murray is on fire. Des Bryant is a beast. And... If you was to judge our team, a lot of people say we was inconsistent this year. And we did have that great game against the Giants. But this is my thing. Um, Nick Foles. Nick Foles got a lot of naysayers. Nick Foles got a lot of people that's critical of him. But Nick Foles also has a lot of fans that loves him and they rally behind him and everything. And this is what I'm this is the point I'm gonna make to everybody. Right now. If you critical of Nick Foles, if you critical of Nick Foles right now, these next games coming up in the season are either going to make you prove you right, or they're going to prove um you wrong for being critical for him. If you're a big fan of Nick Foles, like a, a, a real big big fan of Nick Foles, like these next few games are going to prove you right, or they're I'm not going to say they're going to prove you wrong, but this is his chance now to make everything and every way you feel about him look pretty pretty much sensible and basically make you look right, completely right. And for guys like me who 50-50, I'm not going to be um, too critical of him if he don't perform up to par, but I'm also not going to be... Um, afraid to shout my criticism if he doesn't perform up to par. But what I will say is this. Right now, the Philadelphia Eagles, the way we came together in that Giants game, we have to to play these teams that we got to play next. Like Arizona Cardinals, they don't play around. The Dallas Cowboys is not playing around right now. Um, We got two games against them coming up. And of course, to be an Eagles fan, they have to cheer for the Giants today was brutal because they look like shit. I mean, they did. They were in the game for a little bit, but I mean, I, I thought that after a shutout, they would come back with a vengeance and they would want to completely flat out dominate the Cowboys. But I didn't really count on that. Like, I wasn't all full-fledged go Giants because... This we we was the same way with the Seahawks last week and they disappointed us. But the way I look at it, it's our job to handle the Cowboys because as the Philadelphia Eagles and as Philadelphia Eagles fans, we can't rely on 
other teams to do our to do the job that we supposed to do. So when Thanksgiving roll around, we'll see. But as of right now, I will say this: our squad, all the inconsistencies, the the faults, the clock management, everything. Right now, at this point in the season, this is when we got to get all our shit together. And it's as simple as that. Like, I mean, everybody got to be on point. But this all leads, like, to our leader, our guy, Nick Foles. And, like I said, he's going to have every opportunity for the rest of the season now with the hardest part of our schedule coming up to go out and do what the hell he has to do. And as far as you know... The foolish interceptions and the overthrows and everything. Okay, all of that's going to happen. I'm not worried about that. But in order to be these Cowboys, a lot of people saying they lucky and all of that. No, these guys, I've been watching these guys, and I hate to admit it because I can't stand them. But those guys are on point, man. No, they Their defense is on point. Their offense, their run game, everything is in cahoots with each other, and they are forced to be reckoned with. I just got finished watching the game. They they are forced to be reckoned with. Like, and part of being a fan is also um, knowing like when you gotta just respect somebody else. Like, we can't take Dallas lightly. We can't take Arizona lightly. We can't take um pretty much no team lightly. Right now, the Eagles we have to get our shit together and come together as a unit to play these next couple games and. My main concern for the rest of the schedule is the Cowboys. Also, the Green Bay Packers. Now, Aaron Rodgers and them guys, last year, Nick Foles didn't go up against Aaron Rodgers. And, like, I try to stress to people so much, sometimes it's not about quarterback versus defense. I mean, that's the general theoretical, you know, thing in, in um, football. Quarterback got to go against defense. But sometimes it's not about how you play against the defense. Sometimes defense won't matter. It matters how you stack up with the um, the top fives and the the greats. Like Aaron Rodgers is going to be a Hall of Famer. Nick Foles is still early in his career, but sometimes it's also about you might have to play a shootout game, and it's about how you stack up against the you know the the Hall of Famers and the top five guys. And Aaron Rodgers, he's one of the top five guys. So I think the Green Bay game is a big game. Um, Dallas. That's that's that's. If I was to say the team that I'm worried about the most, it would have to be the Dallas Cowboys. And that's out of respect. Like I bleed green. I'm a diehard Eagles fan. I really don't give a shit about no other team. But when it's time to give respect, you gotta give it. You know what I'm saying? And right now, like I said, this is his time to prove that he's our franchise guy. Like. I don't want to hear at the end of the season if we, what are we, 5-1? and one? We have 10 games left. I don't want to hear at the end of the season if our record is shitty that, oh, well, he's a young guy and this, that, and the third. Like I said before the season started, everything he did last year was to earn him this starting job for a year with no worries, nobody behind him, him worrying about his job. He got a full season to prove to us that he's going to be our guy. And at the end of these, at once these games are over and at the end of the year, I don't want to hear no excuses if our season wasn't up to par. And I know he set a high standard with the the, the, the ten him and Chip Kelly with the ten and six record we had last year. And you know I don't want two losses to Dallas, a loss to Green Bay, a loss to Carolina, a loss to Arizona, and then you know. We finished the season nine and seven. No, I, 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 I'm not for that. Like I'm fully behind Nick Foles 100 percent, but he still has to prove to me that he's our franchise guy, and that's what the season at hand is for him, as far as his resume is concerned. But we have to be on our shit, man. Like we cannot, we cannot go out there and be trying to win comeback games. We cannot go out there and not play a balanced game. You know, we can't have our defense on the field more than our offense. Uh, everything like it all has to come together now. Like five and one, I wouldn't say we're fortunate to be five and one, but we could easily, you know, not been five and one. So right now, after it's all said and done, I know we play Washington again. 
you know, we got a couple games we might think are easy games, but the way Dallas played today, the way Green Bay played today, the way Arizona played today, like we have to be on our shit now. And now is the time for Nick Foles to prove himself. Like we're not going out there with the miscues and the overthrows and everything like that. I know that happens in games, but you got to be on your shit right now. And we got Arizona. We got to play next week. I think I think we played them in Arizona. But now, now is your time. And all the naysayers out there, you can either prove them wrong or you can prove them right. You can prove all of these fans that's rallying behind you, that want to see you shine, that push you up there on this level of greatness. You can prove them right. You can do a guy like me, you know, prove to me that you're our franchise guy by going out and doing what you got to do in these games. And it don't just come down to you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you're the cornerstone of it. You're the reason, you know. You're the guy who's going to get all the attention and the accolades if we have a good year. So we can't push you to the side if we do bad and blame everybody else. Like, it's not going to happen like that. Not with me anyway. Our defense got to be on point. Them guys got to go out there. They look great against the Giants. They got to go out there and do they think against Arizona. Like, now we're going to play. We're playing these high-powered offense. These not teams that were considered slouch teams when they came in the league. So, I mean, that's basically it, man. Like, we just got to go out there. We got to do our thing, man. Like, simple as that. And Nick Foles, now it's your time. Like, Tony Romo, he's not playing this year. Like, he ain't. I know it's, you know, still the first half of the season and everybody, you know, he got this reputation for collapsing and everything. But right now, Tony Romo's not doing that. Tony Romo's doing his damn thing. Like, Carson Palmer and them guys or whoever the hell Arizona quarterback is, Aaron Rodgers, Des Bryant, DeMarco Murray, um, Jordy Nelson. It's time for you to get in cahoots with this offense. We got to compete with them guys now. So, that's pretty much it, man. Like, from right now to the end of the year, this is this is where Foles has got to shine. Foles has got to prove his doubters wrong, his naysayers wrong. Like, simple as that. So, I mean, y'all let me know what y'all think of this video and everything. But, uh, like I said, shout out to everybody who follow my Eagles page always. We underscore bleed underscore green. Love y'all. Um... Twitter, we bleed green eighty four, um, and my YouTube channel, of course, we underscore bleed underscore green. But uh, love y'all, bird game, peace.